eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Hey guys, good morning. I want to get an urgent message. I'm going to get it out to you. So I just want to, um, as you can see, urgent message, young and youthful are crossing over. I have three messages was given me yesterday, yesterday morning. And I you know, sought the Holy Spirit, checked the spirits, um, talked with the team. And uh, man, so I want to get to the messages, but I, I, I kind of ramp it up, right? But let me just give God the glory real quick. I have to do this every time. Father God, I give you all the glory dreams visions and words of knowledge thank you father for warning us thank you father for lighting the path for us your word is a lamp unto thy feet thank you for your word i ask that you take this and deliver it to every young and youthful that are hopeful that are ready to cross over drop it in their lap lord and, and lord right now i take the double-edged sword and i slice out the flickering tongues that come against the brethren. And I take that same sword and I slice off the head of the serpent, I swiftly kick them back to the pit where they belong, the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Guys, even, even this cover that's behind me that you see, the Lord said, do it, do it like this, because I was going to do some picture or something, but the Lord said, no, do it like this. I don't, I don't know if this is going to get your attention or what, but there's three prophetic messages, but here, here's how it all started. Um, yesterday, and we have group every night. We have we have our, our little church every night. And Michael pulls up scripture, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 15, verses, well, he, he, he started off with 22, I think, or 23, sorry, 23, but I'm going to start off with 21, verse 21. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 21, and says, For since by man came death, by, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. But each one in his own order. This is important. Christ the first fruits, afterward those who are in Christ at his coming. Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, and when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. Remember that. So that was the key. That right there caught my attention. And so then I got three messages. And I've been, Lord, I, I, I've been checking, I've been checking the spirits. I've been, uh, and I, I just feel the Lord speaking to me about this. This is guidance, guys. Listen, this is guidance, okay? And, you know, let me pull up my notes here real quick that I've been making notes. Listen to this, guys. Um, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, um, I, I call this scripture craziness. That's what I call it. Okay. First Corinthians chapter two, verse 14. Right? I call this crazy. This is my craziness scripture. Listen, listen closely. Okay. This is the Lord speaking to me uh, through these, through the word. And, and let, and let the Lord speak to you too. But the natural man does not receive. Many of you guys have heard me say this many times, but the natural man does not receive the things of the spirit of God. For they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Guys, I went to bed at 730. Um, and I woke up. The Lord has, has us getting up at 1230 to start our, our washing in the word. We're reading 30 to 40 chapters. Um, I know I'm reading 40. So one guy on our team is reading like he does it all day long to, to stay washed and stay clean. Because he keeps getting, you know, attacked in his thoughts. Many of you are, are being attacked and you don't understand it. You don't understand what's going on. But I got up at 1230 and I started into the word and the and the Lord kept bringing these messages to me. And sometimes I, I would probably release these um, 
on my Sabbath message, but the Lord said, no, no, this, this, you need to get this out. You need to call, you need to call a three day fast. Guys, listen, listen closely. Here it is. Okay. These are heavy. There's a three messages I received yesterday. My son, you are living by faith and you are perceiving this in the chambers of your heart. The influence is growing and becoming stronger. The word of God is the will of God for the ministry and church. The mindsets of the church is full of their own beliefs. Be a witness. You are on spiritual ground. The mindsets of the church is full of their own beliefs. And the young and youthful will be like contentious women. Come on, guys. Call a three-day fast. This starts the resurrection. Many are fallen and cursed to death. Your team will be in the fullness of the Spirit and power, a Holy Spirit ministry with abundance. That's the end of that message. That is message number one. I got three messages, guys. God does things in threes. Right. But the Lord's saying that many of you guys are going to be, even when you're young and youthful, you're going to be contentious, like contentious women. And and he says, this begins the resurrection call a three day fast. I missed that. I missed that yesterday. But he brought it back to my memory this morning. Many are fallen and cursed. And he's like, well, I read the Bible and everything, but guys, it's so easy to step off of the, the, the path, the narrow path. And because if you are in disobedience, that, that pulls you out of contention right there. That pulls you out of, off of the, the narrow path. Okay. Message number two. Here we go. My son, you are steering your destiny in God. My son, those with burdens will not make spiritual ascension. Guys, you got to give your burdens over to Jesus. I, it goes on. This is what lies ahead for you. You will witness during judgment that they are currently separated from God and are going to be humbled. This is a place of revelation. Give your burdens over to Jesus, guys. You just do it mentally. Give them, give them over to Jesus. Give them all. You have, sometimes you have to do it daily. You have to do it daily until you get in the mindset of, okay, you're giving everything to Jesus. This is where we trust, guys. This is where we trust. This is where we literally hold hands. Okay, we hold hands together, all of us, and we take the leap of faith. We take the leap of faith. That's right. We take the leap of faith. All right. Now, the last message. We walk by faith, guys. We walk by faith, not by sight. Okay, my last message. My son, this is prophetic insight about Jesus' rule and dominion. Christ's ministry is all about building a path for others, and you are steering your destiny in God, and your heart is the birthplace of faith. You are doing the unstoppable work of God. There is a momentary opportunity for the ministry. It will be spiritually unguarded, and this is the future of oneself and the church ministry. It will be a pressured situation for the ministry. My son, you, are, you and your young converts are going to your destination. Are you hearing me? Listen closely. The other side and crossing over. He says it again. The ministry is going to its destination, the other side and crossing over, and there will be protection and safety. Okay, I'm going to read this part again. Please, please bear with me. My son, you and your young converts are going to your destination, the other side, and crossing over. The ministry is going to its destination, the other side, and crossing over, where there will be protection and safety. End of message. Guys, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 Verse 21 says, for since by man came death, man, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. But each one 
in his own order. Christ the first fruits, afterward those who are in Christ at his coming. Guys, not everyone goes at the same time. We are bringing in the harvest. The Lord is telling us, we are, I've been praying, Lord, Lord, do we have another year? Do we have several months? What is the case? And I got this dream. You and your young converts are, who is the young converts? The young and youthful. Michael yelled it out last night. He says, the young and youthful. Guys, this is it. This is it. Now, real quick, I've been reading in Ecclesiastes this morning. The Lord's speaking to me in Ecclesiastes. And so I said, I kept asking the Lord, Lord, I don't want to put, I don't want to jerk anybody's chain. I don't want to falsely say, go do a three-day fast. And, and, and nothing happened. But this is what the Lord showed me. In Ecclesiastes chapter two, I'll put all these scriptures and I'll try to put the, the, the transcripts of these, of these messages in there as well in the description box. It says here, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 24. Nothing is better for a man than that he should eat and drink, and that his soul shall enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw was from the hand of God. And I got a note here, guys. Eating is the best the world has to offer without God. Eating and drinking is the best the world has to offer without God. Then the Lord took me to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. And he said, these are your scriptures this morning. Cast your bread upon the waters where you will find it after many days. And then verse 2, uh, chapter 11, verse 2, the end of it says, for you do not know what evil will be on the earth. And then moves on to verse 8. But if a man lives many years and rejoices in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they will be many. All is coming. All that is coming is vanity. All that is coming is vanity. Guys, check your spirit. Check the spirit. Take this to the Lord. Take this to the Lord. Ask the Lord if this is something for you. So here's what I end, want to end this with. I just put out a, a message about the new moon uh, feast that is coming, that's coming on fr uh, Thursday night to Friday this week. Guys, if we start fasting this morning, okay, listen to this. Listen to this. This is so crucial. Tomorrow is the Sabbath, okay? Tonight, tonight is the Sabbath. So really you're fasting the Sabbath and you're fasting the new moon feast, right? And the, Thursday, and the day in between. So it's a three-day fast. Start fasting this morning. If you've already eaten, stop eating, don't eat no more, and just continue on because, guys, listen, it's three days. Listen, it covers it covers the Sabbath, which is which is Thursday night to Wednesday night, and it covers the new moon feast, which is Thursday, Thursday night to Friday night. Okay. Why is this as important? Because on the new moon feast, on the new moon feast, guys, in heaven is where they celebrate new converts or new people coming into the kingdom of God. I, I've always felt this in my heart. That is that is when we're going to be going up on a new moon feast because it's when God welcomes new converts and new people into heaven. They have protocols there. And that, so, so essentially you will be, you will be, Finishing your fast early in the morning on Friday morning. You follow me? You're going to be in the Sabbath now. You're going to be in, in the new moon feast on Friday. I hope this all makes sense to you. So, so look at a calendar. Look at a calendar, okay? And 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 look at it like this, okay? Um, tonight at sundown starts the Sabbath. Tonight, today, right now is June 4th. Tonight starts the Sabbath. And this is according to God's calendar, creation calendar, where Jesus came to us and said, this is the date. This is the month. Why would he do that? Because he's telling us it's important that you follow this calendar. That's why it was important. The Gregorian calendar is a Roman calendar. It's, 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 it has, it's nothing to do with God. Although don't, 
don't put it off from God to, to, to use it. He would he can use anything. God, don't ever put God in a box. Okay? God can do anything he wants. Um, and then, so then, then we go into Thursday night, Thursday night at sundown into Friday night at sundown. That is the new moon feast. So essentially you're fasting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you're breaking fast on Friday morning. And I'm praying, Lord Jesus, come and get us the young and youthful who are bringing in the harvest. You follow me. This is why we are going at different times so that we can be equipped and bring in the harvest. So Holy Spirit, lead me, please. Please, Holy Spirit, lead me. This is so critical, guys. And believe me, I do not do this lightly. I do not do this lightly. I'm calling a three-day fast. I'm calling a three-day fast, guys. This is it. I believe this is it. With all my heart, I believe this is it. And the Holy Spirit is speaking. Here, listen to this video again if you need to. The Holy Spirit is speaking. And I'll read this last part, the third message. My son, you and your young converts, the young and youthful, are going to your destination, the other side, the crossing over. The ministry is going to its destination, the other side, and crossing over. There will be protection and safety. Guys, I love you. I God, God bless you. I do not do this lightly. I know how you know how important food is to many and and it's important to us too cuz we only eat 3 cups a day 3 cups of fruit fruit a day and beans are included in that so it's important for us to to get our to get our food the 3 cups that lord allows us to have but the lord is saying the lord is saying we're crossing over we're going to our destination do you understand me oh man praise god hallelujah and we got revival. I have been told revival is starting next week. Come on, come on. Join with me. Get on board. Pass this out to those that are young and youthful that you know in your group and your your loved ones, those that are that are part of your your little um your influence. Give it to them. Okay, guys, I love you. Um, this is Julian out. God bless you.